Now, this book is from um, you know, Make Magazine uh, Publishing, and it's written by Charles Platt. Um, it's the second edition, and from what I've read, uh, it is kind of a rewrite from the uh, first edition, and they've uh, kind of improved a lot of the illustrations as well as um, kind of cleaned up some of the examples. This is the first book in um, a series by, by Charles. Uh, the next one is Make More Electronics. And then he also has a, um, a uh, an electronic component encyclopedia that I think is currently three volumes. Um, and then in, that, in those series of books, they talk about various types of components and how they work and uh, how you'd use them. But right now, this is this is um, basically the beginning. Where a good place to start if you're if you're just um, learning about electronics. And believe it or not, I am just learning about, about electronics. And I kind of wish I had picked up this book before um, before I started because this really would have filled in a lot of the holes. So. So each book, so as I mentioned, there's a lot of really good illustrations. They, you know, they show you how to, um, you know, hook up uh, various uh, projects, and then just find the index here. So as you can see, the book is kind of split up into various sections, from like basics to, and then they start getting into. Um, Specifics such as working with the integrated circuits, um, learning about um, maybe some of the more advanced, um, some of the more more advanced um, concepts, and then each section is is a number of um, experiments, and then in each of these experiments. They give a really good kind of description of why you're doing it, the, the type of parts you're using it, how to read the diagrams. Um, so like, for instance, this uh, experiment actually talks about what a breadboard is, how a breadboard is set up, and you know, like why, um, you know, why, uh, why it works. Let's see if we find a... So, see, it talks about like, Know how the, um, the various rows are wired together, and and then uh, what your circuit actually looks like wired into the uh, breadboard. And then they go over techniques such as um, you know how to uh, how to cut wires in order to um, in order to hook up the components on the breadboard. And then and then of course every component is really well described. And then going through the book, they have so like perforated boards, shrink wrap, um, copper alligator clips and why they're good. And then they even go into um, you know primers like about um, using soldering irons and uh, you know how to solder wires together. And you know how to know um, a good solder joint from a bad solder joint. And also in interspersed, they have like little tidbits of uh, information, like little bits of trivia. For instance, this one here is um, the wire wrapping in Steve Chamberlain's custom-built retro 8-bit CPU in in computer, which really uh, which really makes gives that extra bit of um, interest. And then what's this? Conversion between... So inch values. So conversion tables. Working with uh, triple five timers. And then towards the back, so you get some of the more complex uh, circuits. And then they also break it down into sections. So you know those this here is grade, but they concentrate on this piece of the overall circuit. 
and how that looks in the circuit diagram. Earlier in the book, it actually kind of shows you how to, um, you know, how to kind of match what you see on a breadboard with a circuit diagram. And then where's that last piece? Then they talk about other references and you know how to uh, you know how to set up your your workbench. That's actually not too far off from from my setup. And they even go so far. Well, they have a section about using Arduino's, installing the program, using the examples. They give you some example uh, programs, as well as some uh, test circuits. And I'm looking for, there we go. Then one of the appendices here, they actually go through and give you tips about, here, actually get this on camera. They give you tips on, um, you know, shopping online for components. Um, you know, what sort of tools you should be looking for. Um, you know, how, how to search. What sort of, um, what sort of uh, online sites you should be getting your electronics from. Like they had Mauser, they had DigiKey, Newark, uh, Newark Element 14. Um, you know, they have, uh, you know, how to communicate with, um, you know, how to talk to experts. Uh, I think they even have one section here. Yeah. Killing autocomplete. Um, you know, it's how to turn autocomplete off your Google search to help you uh, find stuff that, that um, Google may not realize you're looking for. Like, it, it really is, like, just from um, the bit I've, bits I've read so far, it really is a very complete book. Where was it? There's one last thing I want to show you. There we go. Then also, along with the little uh, bits of trivia in the book, they also have, um, like, little biographies of uh, very important scientists, uh, such as Michael Faraday here. Um, and so they so they add the history, they add the the how to, they add the whys. They um, you know they describe how to um, you know how to read it in a professional manner, and then of course they they they'll also show you, you know, what happens when it all goes wrong. Um, so this here they're talking about um, they. I, I guess they put uh, electrolyte, no, um, tantalum capacitor in uh, in the wrong direction. They fed too much power through it, and it kind of kind of blew up. So, like, really cool information. And I, and I believe there's also a chapter in here where they, uh, you know, what happens when you um, overpower uh, LEDs, and they even have an experiment where you hook an LED up to a battery it's I'm not gonna search for it but you hook a uh, an LED up to a battery and, and uh, show it's working and then then you uh, touch your your soldering iron to it to the point that the LED burns out and all that is to demonstrate just how sensitive some of these electronic components can be and I've never really seen it described um, in such an elegant way before. Like it, it just really made sense. So anyone who wants to get a start on electronics, especially if uh, you want to get into like the bare components uh, type electronics, um, which I do recommend, even if you want to get into Raspberry Pi and Arduino and some of the other uh, boards, you are going to have to interface with um, these components. And that, that's what I quickly found out, and that's why I'm doing these videos. But this is a really good primer, and if his other books are as good as these ones, then I'm definitely going to be picking them up too, because there's just so much really good information, and I, and I really, really recommend um, like a, a good reference and um, something to help tie it all together.